Hi honeybees! Today I'm going to be doing a Disney haul. Some of you have asked me like what did you purchase at the parks? I really didn't show that at all in the vlog. If you missed my Disney vlog I will link it down below. It was my first time at Disney when it was decorated for Halloween and fall and I loved it so so much. I mean nothing beats Disney at Christmas time but Halloween time decor definitely comes at a very close second. I absolutely loved it. I had so much fun with my good friend Trisha from A Glittery Life. I will leave her channel link down below as well. So I am going to share what I got at the actual Disney parks, but I also do have some really cute items like this headband right now that I'm wearing that are from small business owners that create really cute Disney merch. So I definitely want to showcase that as well. I've been saving this stuff up for a few months, minus the Disney stuff that I got at the parks. Obviously that was just last weekend. Um, but yeah, I just want to showcase it all for you in this really fun Disney haul. If you're wondering what I have on my lips, I know someone might ask, this is the Tarte lipstick in Miami Vice. I will also link this down below for you. And I will try to link as much as I can down below for you guys so it's easy shopping. I've got bags. Let's just start with this first bag. You're going to be like, Melissa, how many mugs and tumblers do you need in your life? You're going to ask yourself that once you see how many I purchased this time around at Disney. It's a little insane. Okay. So this first item was talked about so much when Beauty and the Beast live action film came out earlier this year. It was a hot commodity. It was all over Instagram. And if you're a big Disney fan, then you know what I'm talking about. It is this tumbler. And it was sold at the Red Tavern in Disney World and Disneyland. And as you can see, it has the rose inside. And then right on the top here, I don't know if you guys can see, but there is a light that shines down on the rose. And it has a couple different settings. It has this blinking setting. Then it has like a different kind of flashing setting, a straight light. Oh, it kind of blinks. And then no light. And there's a straw, of course, because it is an actual tumbler. I just took it out to showcase this for you right now. And now the tumbler actually has Disney Beauty and the Beast on it. When these originally were sold, they did not have that on the, on the front of it. I don't mind that it's on the front of it. I didn't need it to be there though. I kind of liked it without, but you can kind of turn it around to the other side if you don't want to see it. But I could not pass this up because I was really, really loving this when I saw it on Instagram for months and months. So I decided to get myself one. Okay, next thing is so freaking cool, is it not? I'm kind of obsessed with the poison apple from Snow White. I think it just looks so cool. Like you know that one scene when the witch is making the apple and it just shows like the poison like this going over the apple I think it looks so cool and I already have the actual like a regular ceramic mug that's a poison apple that you can get at the Disney store I'll leave it linked down below but this is especially at Disney parks I think just at Disneyland I did not see it at California Adventure it probably is at Disney like Magic Kingdom though in Disney World um, but this comes with either grapes or pineapples, and it's like, I would use it as a mug. I did see it in other locations used, like you could actually put a drink in this, but where I purchased it, which was close to like Space Mountain, it had fruit in it. So I just think this is so cute. It's like a stein, I think they called it, the poison apple stein. And it's just so cool. You will see this in future pictures. It's just too amazingly awesome not to feature. So I can't wait to put this somewhere in my room because that's how much I love it. I can't believe I didn't mention this right away, but the most exciting thing of my trip is that I became an annual pass holder. So excited, you guys. So excited to be able to say that and to go to Disney as many times as I feel like it throughout the year. But I also this time, this trip around, decided that I wanted to collect pins. Now I'm not going to go crazy like some people go way crazy um, with their pin collecting. I would like to get maybe one pin, like one or two pins to commemorate each trip I go on. This time around I got more than one um, because I am just starting out with my pin collection and 
um, I got like the mystery packs, which I'll show you in a moment. So I do have this lanyard that's Jack, Jack the Pumpkin King from um, Nightmare Before Christmas. And I'm going to do close-ups so you guys can see this a little better, but I ended up getting this little pouch that has all the vil Disney villains on it because I needed one that zipped closed so I could put my um, annual pass in here. I could put my fast passes in here. It was just so convenient to have this little pouch on the end here. And then I did get this really cute blinged mini pin. It's like an outline of mini with bling. I got this um, actually in downtown Disney. And then I got this chubby Tigger um, pin and I actually traded one of the cast members for this pin. I don't even know what collection it's from. Don't ask me, I have no idea. And then Tinkerbell I have on here is from 2001 when I first got my very first pins when I was 14. <laughs> so I have that on there. And then I have three pins from the Nightmare Before Christmas mystery pack. So you get two in a pack. It's $15 for one pack. I ended up getting three different packs because I would desperately wanted Sally or Jack. I did end up getting Sally. I don't know the witch's name, this, like this girl and this little guy from Nightmare Before Christmas, um, but I love them. I think they're so perfect and I want like a Halloween lanyard. I want a Christmas lanyard. So these few charms just started my love and obsession for pins. I also have two more pins now. These really are the pins that kind of commemorate my trip this time around. I got this one, which is a limited edition just for pass holders for 2017. And this is Mickey's Halloween party and it has the headless horseman on it. And he's holding a pumpkin like head. So it's kind of, to me it's kind of like Jack, you know, Nightmare Before Christmas-esque, but also the Headless Horseman. And I'm pretty sure this glows in the dark. It's so cool, but it's really heavy. That's why I don't have it on my lanyard. Um, and I didn't want to lose it. So that's not one I probably would wear to the parks because it's too special for that. And then, you guys, Guardians of the Galaxy Mission Breakout. That ride is insanely good. We only got to go on it once, unfortunately, because the Fast Pass is sold out and we were not willing to wait like 90 minutes in line to go on it again. But me and Trisha thought it was so, so good. And I can't wait to go on it a ton more times over the years. But I got this pin to commemorate my first time going on it and it says Mission Breakout with a tape. And then you open it up and it has Baby Gru and it says, let's boogie. I love Baby Gru. I'm obsessed with Baby Gru. So this was so perfect. I absolutely love this pin. It's so different. And like I said, I did get the, oh, I didn't mention that there's Tsum Tsum Mystery Collection, Nightmare Before Christmas. I totally want to get another one because there's Zero, there's Jack. I really, really want Jack. And then there's also Jack with a, Santa hat, so he's Sandy Claus. Oh, I'm just obsessed with Nightmare Before Christmas. Everyone knows this already. So the other, I actually have another Sally. So if you trade pins and you have any of the ones I'm looking for, let me know, because I'll totally trade Sally with you. And I did already trade the Little Witch, because I got a second one of her. I traded a cast member, a Disney cast member, for this really cute pen that is probably from another mystery pack. Um, it's Christmas, so it's gonna be on my Christmas lanyard. It's a snowflake, and then it has Mickey, and he's in like mint coloring. So it pretty much screamed my name. So those are all the pins. If you're worried about your things breaking when you go to Disney, do not be concerned, because this is how they wrap your mugs, <laughs> okay? They've got you, okay? This is not gonna break ever in a suitcase. I'm still going! Is this not the cutest Halloween mug you've ever seen? Do you see the Mickey ears? They have spider webs on them. It's okay, there's no spiders, so I'm good with it. So there's happy Mickey jack-o-lantern side and spooky Mickey. So cute. And I love how big it is. I probably won't eat. See, these kind of mugs that are super cute like this, I don't necessarily use. I know that's weird. But I like to have them out as like 
decoration for Halloween and I will take countless pictures of this mug. I actually might use this mug because I like how it, how it feels. You know what I mean? Anyways, it's so cute. So I got that. This mug was probably the most expensive. It's $22. Okay, next mug is brandy new. If you have the other, what are these called again from Starbucks? If you have the You Are Here collection mug that was Disneyland from last year, this is the new one. So now I'm gonna have both. This one has purple in the inside, the other one has blue. And I love the coloring of this one, you guys. There was one for California Adventure and I totally forgot to go in and try and get that one. But anyways, I love the Disneyland one so much. The coloring, they have a carousel. You have the castle, you have, um, like, it looks like the Snow White, ca not castle, call it cottage, and then the storybook, like, the way, and you have, it's a small world, it's so, 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 so cute. So, yeah, I think me and Trisha both ended up getting this mug, because it's special. So that's all I ended up getting at the park, and I know some of you that have been a subscriber for a while are like, what? You didn't get a new Pandora charm? I know. I was so fixated on getting the pins that I decided I didn't want, I did go into the Pandora store to be honest with you, um, but none of the like exclusive to the park charms really spoke to me, except the Dumbo one. I almost got that one, but... It's not like me, so I didn't end up getting it, but I am going back to Disney in November, so I'm planning on getting a charm then, so be on the lookout for that. Okay, now I'm going to talk about the cute items I've been purchasing over the last few months or have been sent to me. There's only one thing that's been sent to me um, from like small business owners that do Disney merch, which is so exciting. Okay. So first is from the what the ears I'm wearing right now. Her website is milamouse.com. Like I said, I'll have it linked down below. Mila Mouse Ears and her Instagram is Mila Mouse Ears. And it's so funny because hi girl, hi Joanna. Um, I absolutely love her Instagram, and that's how I found her. And um, what's funny is I ordered a pair of ears from her. Which I'm going to show you right now and she actually followed me on YouTube and she made me these ears and was going to send them to me and had I had no idea. So when she sent me the ones I purchased, she sent me these as well. So let's talk about the ones I purchased first. These come, these ears, come in a lot of different colors so if you don't particularly like this then definitely check out her website but I love mint and pink. So these are absolutely perfect for me, and the mint actually has white polka dots. I hope you're able to see that. I'll try to do close-ups for you. And then there's white and pink little floral details here with little bling blings in them as well. And there's bling. and the castle pattern that is on the ears here is all stitched onto the ears, and it looks so expensive and beautiful. These are so worth the money. They're super comfortable as well. So I absolutely love them and will definitely continue to support her because she's amazing. And then these ears that I have on right now, I may have to just zoom in for you guys because it may not be apparent, but my name is actually stenciled, like carved, into the ear here. It says Melissa, and on this side it has a Mickey head. And then there's beautiful flowers all the way around the front and the back. So if you take a picture from the back, it still looks perfect. I love these ears. They are so comfortable. I wore them on the second half of the first day um, I was at Disney this time. I would bring these every time. I love them. So thank you so much, Joanna. I love both of my ears, and I can't wait to wear them some more while when I'm in the park. Okay, next shop that I want to showcase is Oh So Fabulous, and her Instagram is Oh So Fabulous. And her website is ohsofabulousshop.com, and there she sells glittery glassware. So, because the shipment, I think something ended up happening with my order. It got delayed or something to that effect. So I ordered this one, and she sent me this one as a gift to say I'm sorry that you know what happened with your order, which was, which was beyond sweet, and I mean wasn't necessary. Very very sweet. So this one spoke to me so much because it's Cinderella blue, 
See how glittery that bottom is? It's just like covered in beautiful oh, sparkly glitter. This one is a mason jar glass. Love the straw too. Do you see how it's like striped? And it has the um, Cinderella Castle or Sleeping Beauty Castle. I don't know if it's the Cinderella or the Sleeping Beauty Castle. And then it has Mickey, like a cutout of Mickey right in the center there. And then it says, take me home. And I'm constantly saying Disney is my home away from home because <laughs> I love it so much. And I don't care what anybody says. So this is so perfect. I love it so much. And then the other one she sent me is this really cute, it's like skinnier tumbler. And it says, make it pink, make it blue. And it has a crown at the top for obviously Sleeping Beauty. Remember when they're changing the dress from pink to blue? I always wanted it to be pink. Who else votes for pink? But on this one, it has a gradient of blue to pink glitter. Isn't that so pretty? I love it. I love it so much. So definitely go and support her as well. Then I have a bunch of these, like, cozies. I think you call them cozies, right? Pretty sure. And these are from Katherine Mason. Let's see if I have her card. So I've ordered from her twice now. The first order went super easy, awesome. Second order, I was a bit disappointed because I ordered them in May, um, expecting to get them before my trip in September, and I didn't get them till after my trip in September, um, which it ended up being like the last day in September or the first day in October, which is a really, really long time to process my order and get it to me, I feel like. So doesn't mean that I wouldn't order from her again because her things are adorable, so, so cute. I love them. Um, but it does make me think twice about ordering for, say, like the holidays or something like that to give as gifts because I really don't think there's a guarantee that I'll get them. But her name is Ashlyn and her shop name um, on Instagram is shop underscore Catherine underscore Mason, M-A-S-O-N. And shopcatherinemason.com is her website. So I got quite a few. She had a sale that was going on at one point, and that's why I have so many. And I did end up getting one as a gift as well. So I got these two. I have just recently got them in the mail, so I haven't opened them. They are so cute. Obviously, they are Mickey pumpkins, and I got the in the, these are the two colors it comes in, in like the oatmeal and the black. One of these are actually going to be going to Trisha. If you're watching this, Trisha, then you know, then you know now. Um, but I was supposed to have them before the trip so we could have them on our trip, but it is what it is. And then I got these two cute ones. Oh, it's washing it out. I'll have to do close-ups for you. This one is a really cute Marie from um, Aristocats. And I love, like, there's different color stripes here. There's, like, white, purple, and pink. And then this one's for Christmas. It's not Disney-related. It's just a Christmas tree with my initial M. I just thought it was so cute. And then this one I ended up getting for free because it was during that sale, and it's just a pumpkin one with oatmeal crochet. Okay, last small business I want to make mention to is Bibbidi Bobbidi Brooke. She makes adorable pins. She also makes ears, but I've never purchased from her, so I can't speak to that. But I purchased three different pins from her now. I have the rose gold one, the silver ears, and like they're both sparkly, I believe. No, I have the Epcot ears. The Epcot ears, the rose gold sparkly ones, and then these mermaid ones. There were also 4th of July ones that I was super tempted to get, but I was like, I'm going to have a whole collection of just her pins. Not that that's bad, but I decided to slow my roll on purchasing her adorable ones. But it's literally like a mini headband in a pin, and they're just so, so, so cute. Love that. So last thing I'm gonna share with you um, is not technically a small business. This might be, it's off of eBay. I got this phone case for $5.99. Again, I will link it below for you guys. I had this on my iPhone 7 and I just repurchased another one for my new iPhone 8 Plus because that's how much I love this case. Look how sparkly and amazing this case is, you guys. It has Mickey ears on either side and they're sparkly and it's rose gold. It's just perfection. It's a perfect case. And it's kind of a little bendy, like it's a soft case. It's not super hard. So I find that those cases hug my phone better and they don't break as easy when they're like this pliable kind of material. Definitely suggest this case. It's so, so cute. I'm not sure if, there's, if it comes in different colors. 
Obviously, I only care about it in pink and rose gold, so... It's kind of more pink, huh? But they say it's rose gold. Whatever. It's super cute. Alright, that is my mega Disney extravaganza <laughs> of all. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed seeing my Disney goodies. And like I said, if you haven't checked out the vlog yet, make sure to check that out. It's so much fun. I love you guys so much. Alright, I'll see you guys again soon. Bye.